We use portable chillers because they're packaged to cooling systems and they're on casters and they can move around from machine to machine. They operate their own refrigeration circuit when it's an air cooled or water cooled and it has its own distribution pump and reservoir to transfer the water to a heating source and an electric cooling temperature controller to manage the desired operating temperature to the process. Now these are all good for by the machine operations. But what do we do for a large operation that has 30 or 40 machines? Well, there we have to start thinking about vessels such as pump tanks. And a pump tank is a vessel that receives and holds the coolant returning from the process cooling and pumps that to other uh, cooling resources such as chillers or cooling towers. A pump tank offers several benefits to provide a constant level of sufficient net positive suction head to ensure efficient pump operation. It allows thermal expansion outlet for the heating of the fluid during our process circulation, and it allows air in the circuit to purge out of the atmosphere. It's also a buffer to reduce temperature fluctuations in the process load.